Hi everyone. Today in this video, let's see how we can import price list in Odo 40. So Odo has developed the most effective price list feature for promoting marketing uh, market pricing strategy. So we can create specific price list for uh, specific customers and it can be set for product or product category. And we have a uh, different type of price list. That is, we have advanced price list and we can create multiple price lists per product. So when you get into sales, you can see a menu for creating a sales price list. That is under products, you can see price list created. So here we have uh, five price lists already created. And you can see the price list name, currency, whether it is selectable on the website. Uh, then here when you open one, you can see some details like currency, the company name. Then we have, you can see the uh, price rules added. So when you open a uh, public price list, you can see that uh, it, you can add price, list, price rules here. Okay, so let me show you how we can import a price list to Odo. So for that, let's select one price list. So when you select one, you can see under action option to export data. So uh, I have selected one row, one record. Then when I click export, you can see a window that is showing. Here we can see the uh, template. Uh, here we can see the fields uh, that is sequence price list name, currency selectable, or not then website company uh, so we can export file uh, template in xls format and in csv format so you can select one so if you're choosing xls format then field formatting will be done automatically so it is better to choose it is recommended to choose this option that is xls then here we can see all the available fields for this uh, price list so he can uh, we can add uh, fields to here so here when i choose here you can see priceless items, which is a order line. So when you uh, unfold it, you can see all the subfields of this field. Like you can see the um, percentage price, uh, price discount, uh, price uh, rounding, then product variant, then end date, like this way currency. So these things are subfields of priceless items. So you can add the uh, subfields here. Like when you click on this uh, plus, you can see that field is added to here. And after adding, you can just click on export and you can save the file and later you can edit it and use, use it. Okay, so just I'm opening this file. I will show you something. So when you open, we can see all the added fields here, like sequence, priceless name, currency, then you can see selectable or not. So if it is a Boolean value, you can give zero one. Then you can see the website name, company, then so these details. And you can add rows here. And after editing this file, you can just import it. So I've already created a file. So I'm just closing this. Okay, so when you come under favorites, you can find the option to import records. So just click on that and you can see here page where we can load file uh, for importing. So it can load a CSV file or Excel file. So uh, you can see it is all normally recommended to use Excel file. And we can also directly import template for a uh, price list. So when you, that is, you can download a template. So it, when you open this also, you can see the Excel sheet which shows all the price list. Mm, let's see that. And we can also uh, import all price list. That is, when you, that is, we can export all price list by clicking this. So all data will be, all records can be exported. Okay, so let me load a file. You can see my product dot price list. So here you can see there is one record. So let me show that file. So 
So when I open, you can see the uh, fields here. I have added, I have created a, a record that is uh, prices name with new. I can see the currency. Mm, and you can see some fields here, like prices items. I have added one item. Then you can see the fixed price. Then you can see last modified date. And you can see the prices items price. You can see the discount. Okay. So now let me import this file. So when you open, you can see here all the uh, columns shown here. And you can see about uh, uh, field formatting is done automatically as it is XLS file. Okay. So already some fields are mapped, like matched. You can see because the column name and the field existing in order is same. That is for prices. Uh, then yeah, if you don't want to import some fields, you can just close, click close. And you can remove uh, those fields, those columns. And if you find some columns are not mapped uh, or not matched, then you can just uh, click on this and you can select the corresponding field from here, appropriate field. Okay. So when I, so after adding, just click on this text. And you can see if there are errors, it, it will be shown here. So you can see there is an error that is for the field prices items bar other price list. For the field other prices, there is no existing value zero. So what we can do is that um, we can create value or we can just change it, update the value. So I don't want this field. So I'm just removing that. So let me close this. Actually, I don't want that field. Okay. So let me test it again. And you can again see a uh, error here that is ambiguous specification for field price list items only uh, provide one of name, external ID, or database ID. So let me remove okay, external ID. I want this. Then again, if I try to import, okay. So the errors are gone. Now we can see a warning shown that has found multiple matches for field prices items. Two matches. Ah, this is because uh, duplication. This is because we have duplicated uh, data. So for prices items. So no, no matter. It's just warning. You can remove that duplication or and import. Or if it is not an issue, then just import that. So if you click import. You can see that one record successfully imported and you can see that a uh, price list is added here imported you can see the details here in the list view new currency usd and you can see it is selectable as we have provided true then you can see website name and when you open you can see the data here like prices rules that we have provided uh, uh product name all products then you can see the minimum quantity that we have given inside the file. Then the price, you can see 10 percentage discount, zero surcharge. And you can see selectable is true. And by default, website is my, my website. So we have imported a price list using XLS format. In the same way, we can uh, import price list in CSV format. So for doing that, uh, we can just download template. If you want to download template, you can just click on this. Uh, and you can go to action and export it. And you can see the format CSV. And after adding fields, you can just click export. Then you can save the file. So you can see it is downloaded. And when you check your downloads, you can see this downloaded. Now just open that so when you open you can see the those uh, fields that we have exported
Okay, so let me add some more fields. So let me open a file. So let's file and let me copy this fields. Okay. So it is pasted. Now let me change the prices name. And you can change the currency from here. Then here you can edit the record, what all fields you want to change, you can change from here. Okay, so after adding changes, just save it. So now let's come back to our importing page and let's import records. So let's load the same file, the CSV file from here. So when you open, you can see the option that is formatting option uh, as we have loaded csv file we can manually change that is for field formatting will not be done automatically so you can manually change the formatting options from here then you can see the fields here so you can remove fields from here Okay, so after removing those, you can test it. So you can see there is only one uh, warning shown that is found multiple matches for price type. Okay, mm, so let's let's import this. And when you import, you can see that it is created. The price is created Christmas 2020. And just click on that. You can see that uh, lines, price rules are added here. Minimum quantity four price that is 17 percentage discount and zero sur surcharge okay so we have imported two records uh, using by csv file as csv file and excel file So that's all about importing price list in Odo 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.